are back in tin can today and the rescue update is finally almost here so basically i've got the beta version loaded so i do have the rescue update live here just so that you know before we get into this there might be some bugs in this i'm not sure because it is the beta version so just to be fair towards the developers i think the main branch update is going to be pushed about a week from now it does depend but yeah really excited about this one i've obviously been waiting for it for quite some time i have no idea how this is going to go i think it's been maybe two or three months since i last actually played and can i made one quick tutorial video but i haven't actually booted up the game aside from that so i haven't seen this at all I haven't tried it out this is my first time looking at it so i see we've got six different scenarios here from surviving six minutes all the way up to 30 minutes now I don't know how much this has changed given that we've survived for over an hour in hardcore mode uh yeah we'll continue without the tutorial i'm assuming that six minutes will not be too hard but i don't know what's changed in the game so we'll see uh we'll see how it goes but yeah i'm really curious to see what this is going to look like and really excited to to see that this update has finally come out Okay, load as many components as you need. So we've got one minute. Wow, that's really not a long time. What have we got here? Uh, air filter. I want to see stuff that's particularly useful. These don't look particularly useful. Uh, these, these are just like switches and stuff. 30 seconds. Uh, we are going to take the fuse. Anything else? There's another fuse. Fuses are always useful. So we'll take some of them. How do I get in here? Like this? Okay. Uh, let's not leave it until the last second. I don't even know how this works. Oh, shit. Okay, so then it plays the... I don't know wh why the development console is at the bottom here if I press something. Uh, maybe there's no way to get rid of it. So asteroid field detected. Are we still crouching? Yes, we are. Okay, so that's the little start animation, it seems. Wow, it's been a while since I've, I've played this. Let's have a look around. Um, first thing, we usually check these. The pressure generator. Is that online? Doesn't seem to be. We only need to survive for six minutes here, so... I'm and I'm not seeing the counter. Oh wait. Oh, so this is it. Can I change any of this? There's a round monitor. Can I remove this? Yes, I can. Oh, and I can switch this on and off. It's the rescue beacon. Okay. So I, presumably if this is switched off, then we lose time. Let's just check. Yeah, okay, so if, if this goes offline, I'm not, I'm not sure what needs to happen for that to go offline, but um, oh, we don't have spare bottles. This doesn't work at all. This is going to be a big problem. Uh, let's see if I can get this operational. I need a fuse. Man. Well, with six minutes, I think these might actually last that long, but we'll see. Uh, we don't have a main computer either. This is really interesting. It's really different. But... Uh, so something went wrong here. Can't see what it is because we don't have a main computer. What else do I need here? Well, we don't really need this system so much. So let's switch this off. Uh, get the battery. I didn't actually need the fuse, because if I can just get a battery and a pump in here, I can sort this out. This doesn't have a pump either. Wow, this, this ship is really not well specced. It's an escape pod. But I think we might even be okay without doing much at all. NA82017H, where's the manual? Is it still here? Okay, something's definitely happening here. Um, O2. You can always vent some manually if this isn't working. So that's probably what we'll end up doing. 
Oh, do we have parts in here? Yeah, we do. A lot of changes from the last uh, update. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to need to vent some oxygen manually. Um, I'll just grab it, vent a little bit and put it back in. Oh, okay. I guess we've just vented all of it. So this is going to have to last us for the rest of the time. We will try to... Well, the CO2 extractor is still working just fine. How much time left? Two more minutes. So the first one shouldn't be too hard to survive. It would be a bit embarrassing if I died this early on. Uh, oxygen, I think within the next two minutes that should still be enough. There's not much else I can do. I mean, I can try to get some of the CO2 in there, but I would need a pump for that, which I don't think we have. So that would be under hydraulic storage, I guess. Yeah, uh, but we don't have extra pumps. I could use this one if I really had to, but I think we'll be fine actually. I wonder if they've created an animation for when we actually get rescued. I, I guess we're, we'll find out in about a minute and 20 seconds. Um, is there anything else here that can kill me? Part atmosphere is okay. Oxygen's getting lower, but we're fine. CO2 is still fine. Let's see how the CO2 tank is holding up. It's very close to full. Let's clean out the filter. And don't need to worry about the pressure. I think if there is another event, I highly doubt there will be because we're nearly there. 60 seconds. Yeah, uh, let's have a look at what's... Um... Actually, we don't need to look at what's wrong with the oxygen because we don't have any extra left anyway. So, I don't know if anything else is going to change as we get up to the final release, but um, yeah, if you want to try this out on the beta branch, you can basically just go to your settings and, and opt into it on the Steam page. So, um, yeah, but it is interesting that the the toughest survival run requires 30 minutes. Now that may still be difficult because if it's like this, where half of the systems don't have anything in them, uh, that's going to be significantly harder than a standard survival run is. And yeah, I do wonder what this would be like for new players if you're not even sure what's meant to be in these systems. Oh, here we go. This is the rescue animation. Following components are now available at the start of the scenario. Oh, I see. Okay, so the reason why the reason why we didn't get a lot of good stuff at the beginning and it was mostly just those lights and so on is because you're unlocking it as you go. So yeah, there we go. This is. Uh, I think we'll we'll try one more. Uh, so do we do we say continue and we move on to the next one? So next scenario, it goes all the way up to 30 minutes. So we're going to try one more for this video at least. We'll try the 10 minute survival. And we do this again. So we'll just have a look through. There's an air filter. You see, most of these lights and so on aren't particularly useful. And... 60 seconds is not a lot of time. There were a whole bunch of CRT monitors last time, but let's take one. At least we can scrap it if we need to fix stuff. So, because I think CRT monitors give you, give you quite a bit of spare parts to repair stuff with. Um, uh, here we go, extra batteries and extra fuse. I think that's more let's take one of these and we take a fuse oh we've only got a couple of seconds i need to move there we go all right 
Yeah, so I guess these decisions get more difficult later on and you may want to do a couple of runs. I guess the idea is also that you would run into your pod and see what's actually missing. But to be honest, uh, yeah, within 60 seconds, that's going to be really tough. So uh, let's have a look again here. These are working again. And we have spare tanks this time. Maybe that's how they're easing players into it, is that the first time a whole bunch of these other systems don't work. This switch doesn't work though. And we don't have the pump and we don't have a battery. Well, we've got a battery here, so we'll do this. And then if this is okay, ah, oh, great, it's got a pump. Um, we're gonna take, let's just get rid of that for now. I'm gonna put this pump in here. And at least this is functional now. Well, assuming I get a switch for it as well. So we'll just put the switch in and then we can actually use that if we need to. Uh, what else do we have here? So there's electrical, electronic. Take one of these. Let's pop that in there. CRT monitor. Would that be under, was that an electrical? I, no. I guess there's a separate one for display. Well, we've got plenty of monitors. I doubt in a 10 minute time frame we're going to run out of this. So, okay. Let's just have a quick look here at the vitals. This is always the one that you need to watch if you want to see if anything is, is going wrong, but so far it seems okay. Sorry about the development console at the bottom. I, I actually have no idea why that's open or how to close it. Um, because as I said, I've just booted up and went into the game, so we're going to have to deal with that being there. Um, anything else? Again, given the state that this is in and given that we've done hardcore survival runs of over an hour, I I doubt that we'll struggle to, to actually survive this one. Ice Nebula. Uh, I'm trying to remember actually what's the right course of action here. I guess we just start turning systems off that we don't need as the power starts to reduce. But again, on a 10 minute run, we may not need to do that. Uh, let's have a look at the temperature. It hasn't started dropping yet. Oh, actually, this is what we need to do. We switch this off, let the temperature go above what it usually would. And then once once the cold actually starts, we'll we'll switch that back on. Yeah, you can see, so the atmospheric temperature is rising. This is exactly what we want um, so that we have some excess heat in the pod when this event starts. The update that I'm still really excited about is, uh, is the workbench because I do think that's fundamentally gonna change the way survival works in the game. Um, but uh, I wasn't actually planning on uploading this today, so I have been playing because somebody uh, recommended again, uh, what is it, Burrow Trauma, and I've been playing that uh, because I have played it before but didn't really get into it, and because a couple of people have recommended it, I started playing it again, and it's actually pretty good, so I'm working on a video for that as well. Okay, here we go. So we've just gone into this event. So I have been working on a video for that as well, and it's it's the same sort of thing. A lot of the other games, especially, um, what's the one that I played recently? Sorry, I'm blanking on the on the name right now. Astronauts. It's in some ways it is similar to that, but it's a lot further along in terms of early access. There are some things that are different, but it's it's actually pretty good. The only thing about that game is you do need to spend a couple of hours of it just to get used to it before you before it actually really starts to click. Initially, it isn't that much fun because it's got quite a weird difficulty curve. So we've just lost gravity and I assume, let's just have a look what's going on down here. So the battery on this ran out or maybe it wasn't charged to begin with either way. We don't really need the gravity. So this is where we do need to shut off systems that we don't really need. Let me just see, is there anything else? Where's the repair box? Oh, this is kind of stripped as well, I suppose. Still have five minutes. These are all still fine. 
And I think we're going to be okay on temperature because we had a lot of, we basically have a lot of residual heat now. Um, yeah. Okay, so I might, I'll probably cut a little bit in this video because uh, there is some downtime while we're just waiting for stuff. Okay, I see. So this is getting an error because we didn't refill the bottles. This is just a, a function of me being a little bit rusty on this game because um, usually this would be the very first thing that I do. But put in that bottle. We don't even have to replace it because we'll be rescued by the time that becomes a problem. Um, just close that again. We'll replace that. Take out the CO2 bottle and get another one. The fact that you get rescued after a certain amount of time definitely changes things. The one thing that I do quickly want to check once we're done with this one is if you can do a custom rescue mode where you can choose the amount of time that it takes. Uh, because my guess is, and what I, I'll probably end up doing is, I might finish this one, then I'll probably play the other ones sort of off camera and just go straight to the 30 minute one uh, because we have done the longer survivals and we'll see how that goes. But uh, it would be good if you could if you could specify your own times as well and maybe make it like an hour or something. But to be honest, I, I know the reason why they're doing this is also to make this game more accessible for new players, which is important. What, what tends to happen is you get communities around these games and of course, you know, if you've played it a lot, you want more of a challenge, but the developers have also got to think about the fact that this is an early access game and, you know, eventually they're going to go into full release and they're probably going to want to attract more players. And to do that, you do need to have a good tutorial. You do have to have sort of a tiered level system like this that can ease players into the game so that it's not quite as unforgiving. This uh, cold event is really lasting for a long time. Okay, now we've got an asteroid field coming as well. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this back on. We've got gravity back as well. Let's just put these back anyway, even though it probably won't be needed. Um, and we'll switch this back on, see if this is working. Yes, it's working as it should. How are we doing on time here? Um, Oh no, you know what I didn't realize? I think this might have lost power for a second, but it's still, it still seems to be broadcasting. It might just be that this is a faulty monitor and it was actually on the whole time. But yeah, this is something that I guess you're gonna need to keep in mind now is the fact that if you lose power, this rescue beacon isn't gonna broadcast. And that may be, I mean, I haven't thought about that, but that may make the 30 minute survival a bit harder because it may end up being more than 30 minutes if you if you lose this for some of the time something to keep in mind and in fact you will lose it because there are situations where you really have to try and conserve power i just don't know how much power this rescue beacon actually takes let's see if we can figure that out does it say anything about the rescues this values Temperature, gravity, fast charging. I'm sure whatever that is, it's not that. I, I don't see the rescue beacon in here. Oh, shit. Okay, famous last words. Um, that's why I shouldn't not pay attention when... Okay, we're going to need to get this. And why is it not properly orientated? Okay, we're going to blow ourselves towards this. I think we have extinguished the flames. What else is wrong? Um, well, I think what probably happened is we did sort of fry this system. I'm going to try to see if it... No, it's gone. Yeah, I forgot that we have fire in the game now. And that can be pretty brutal. So we've just lost all systems, it seems. Um, which, if that means that the rescue beacon is off as well, we're not going to get rescued. Uh, and if that doesn't work with a battery... Yeah. 
I feel like I'm still hearing fire. We're actually gonna die on our second run here. Um, let's get this sorted. Just some oxygen. I hope that's not too much. Oh, there we go. Breathability is back to where it should be. But now the CO2 is becoming a problem. Why is this not working though? If we could just get power back, that would solve everything. What may have happened is... Hey, we should have some batteries. We can power the... Come on, we can still do this. Get that back online. Okay, take that out. Now I'll get it back online. Perfect. Just clean out the filter. Uh, CO2 is still rising. Why is that? Something's not working in here. Is it the pump? Could be the pump. Oh no, we're getting very close to death. I think this is... Uh, grab that pump, close this up, change it out. Please work. I mean, I can't imagine what else it is. It was the pump. Okay, it is going down. It still doesn't completely solve the oxygen problem, and it may not solve the fact that we don't have a beacon working. Does the beacon have a battery? I'm not seeing any service drawer. Here it is. Yeah, let's get a battery in here. Please tell me this one is still... Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is um, turning out to be more exciting than I thought it would be. Beacon is starting back up. I can't see anything on the monitor, but I am just hoping that it is actually working. What I will do is check if there's a spare... Man, it would have helped if we had light. Let's shut off some of these alarms. It's just easier to think this way. Um, what else is wrong here? Temperature is okay. I can't tell if the beacon is working or not. Um, and I do want to maybe change out its... It, it doesn't look like this is going to turn back on. So given that that's the case, I may as well borrow this data connector, assuming that it still works, and see if we can fix this up. Perfect, nine seconds. So that's why you don't read the manual when there's an emergency. <laughs> did we just lose power at the last second? Um, we did, okay, we need, a, we need another battery. Is there still some juice left in here? Surely if they're two seconds away, they should be able to see me by now. Is that it? Are we getting rescued? It does say zero. I'm not sure why. It could be a bug. So as I said, this is the, the beta version. The developers did say that, um, that there are some bugs. So I think that this is maybe just a particular outcome that they may not have considered. Either that or there's something else wrong here. Oh no, here we go. So we did get rescued. Yeah, that was actually really cool. So, I mean, this still has the potential to be really fun. I do think that having this um, rescue beacon... So, oh, we ended up playing for... Is that right? So it was 14 minutes 55 uh, that it actually took just because there was so much beacon downtime uh, as well. But yeah, it does add some new dy dynamic because now you have to keep that on as well. Uh, it's actually really cool. Love the new update. As I said, I might do some more sort of off camera and then get back when we do a 30 minute survival or maybe I'll just record the other ones as well. Let me know in the comments as well what you guys would like to see. Uh, and then as always, if you do want to see more of this, please do like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out the channel and I'll see you for the next video.